Hi, I'm Chef Pete Gagan for Sterling Silver Premium Meats. Here we have the tri-tip. Again, coming from the sirloin. It's not top sirloin, but we call it out a sirloin steak, sirloin roast, or just tri-tip. Whatever way, if you can figure out how to put those both on there, it'd be awesome. Uh, this product is actually really famous on the West Coast. The popularity of it is growing, and again, it's a very, very versatile cut. One of the easiest ways to take care of it, though, is to roast it or throw it on a smoker. You can cut steaks out of here, and I'll show you that. It's got some big grains, but the grains do turn a lot, and I'll, and I'll get into that a little bit more. But you're gonna have to trim this up a little. We've got a fat cap on there. You can get this product without it. Um, I like it on there, but you trim it down a little bit. There is some silver skin on the other side you're gonna wanna take care of. So not a lot of knife work, but we're gonna get in there and clean that up a little. And then along the sides though, really important because the silver skin runs the sides and then also on the end. A couple spots you don't wanna miss. You do all this work and you miss those couple and someone has a little uh, leather in their mouth. So once that's done though, this, this product is, it, I mean, it's ready to go. I personally like to put it on a smoker or roast it, actually more towards a medium, 140, 150 degrees, as opposed to medium rare, I think it eats better. Um, but that's cooking it slow. If I'm gonna throw it in a 350 degree oven, 400 degree oven, I'll go for more of a medium rare. But what you can see here, is again, these nice big muscle fibers, but they, they start to turn. See how this goes here? And then it runs the whole length here. So cutting steaks can be a little tricky. Can be done though. You don't wanna go uh, with a steak that's too big because you're only gonna get a couple out of that. What I like to do is cut a few, more like seven, eight ounces. Look at that beautiful marbling there. Cut across. And then as you're going, you're gonna change your angle just a little bit here. It's a little thicker on one end, but you don't wanna to turn too much. So you can keep that going. So you wanna really think about how you utilize this muscle. It does make a great steak. Roasting it is really, really, I think it's sweet spot. Sandwiches for salad toppers. It's phenomenal, great if you own a barbecue restaurant. Uh, again, it, it's really good, medium rare. I think it's better medium. Um, you could take it all the way like you do a brisket and, and where it'll fall apart. Braising, this cut actually does really, really well in the braise. Uh, making any, any type of shredded beef works well. Um, you might also think about taking that top cap off or the fat and you can actually split that down the middle so you have something that's a little thinner. Because as a whole, probably on a grill, it takes a good 40 minutes to cook. It puffs up. So when you split it down the middle, you can cut that time in half and still have that great eating experience that a tri-tip will offer. For more information about the tri-tip or other cuts, go to sterlingsilvermeats.com. Enjoy.